Hi, I'm Zeno. Today is Friday, November 17th. Battle against hunger ends today. Hopefully you've been able to be generous and help out this worthy cause. Now here's Maj with weekend forecast. Thank you, Zena. Let's see what the weather is like this weekend. Today is the last day of warmer with a high of 57, but there's also a 70% chance of rain. Saturday and Sunday are both sunny, but the highs are only in the upper 40s. That's it. Have a great weekend. Back to you, Zena. Thanks, Maj. Any seniors interested in taking co-op for second semester, including students who are currently in co-op, Ms. Ferris will be hosting mandatory meetings Wednesday, November 29, Thursday, November 30, and Friday, December 1st at 2.55 p.m. in the auditorium. If you have signed up to take co-op or have expressed interest to your counselor, you must attend one of these mandatory meetings and stay for the whole meeting. Paperwork will be distributed at a time to be determined. Details will be provided at the meetings. If you have anything after school on those days, you need to make arrangements to attend one of these meetings. Meetings will begin promptly at 2.55. Anyone arriving late will need to attend a different meeting. Plan accordingly. Please note that no questions will be answered prior to these meetings. Now here's Mr. Schaubeck with information about eSports. Morning, Tractors. If you are interested in competing with video games, Please come and attend uh, the eSport meeting on Monday, November 20th, uh, after school in room D202. Seniors, headshots are due today, no exceptions. If you went through Michael Barton or Studio Neda, they will be uploaded for you. If you went through another company, please follow the instructions posted on Ms. Cubitt's Google Classroom. The classroom code is 65TBSKI. If you don't check to make sure that your name is checked off on the roster through her Google Classroom, your student ID will be used. Please see Ms. Cubitt's in C203 if you have any further questions. Stay tuned for future Fridays and club announcements. See you Monday. When it comes to work skills, they can be broken down into two types hard skills, and soft skills. They're pretty different from one another, but both are necessary to be successful on the job. Let's take a look at the differences between the two. Hard skills are concrete skills that are specific to your job and are required for you to actually do your work. For example, if you're a chef, cooking would be a hard skill. Or if you're a computer programmer, coding would be an example. Soft skills, on the other hand, are interpersonal or people skills that can be used in every job. These include communication, teamwork, and adaptability. Hard skills are generally learned through school, training, or previous work experience. They're more objective, meaning that once you've learned the information or task, you would then possess that skill. Soft skills are more difficult to develop you'll need to practice them over time in the real world with others. They come naturally to some people while others may not have such an easy time with them. Hard skills are easy to measure. Employers can get a good idea of your hard skills by looking at your education, previous experience, and certifications. Soft skills are harder to evaluate. They can't really be communicated well through your cover letter or resume. Instead, employers usually have to wait until an interview or your first few weeks on the job to get a good idea of your soft skills. Despite their differences, you'll need both hard and soft skills if you want to become more hireable or be successful in your current job.